subscribe for more videos like this. Hello. I was asked to break down William H. Baker's editing. And so in this video, we're gonna look at we created the Batman using miniatures. What does that mean? I guess we'll find out. So without further ado, let's check it out. This is my favorite shot from the Batman. And with the penguin coming out, I wanted to recreate it. But that means we need a Batmobile to flip a car, an empty lot, all this rain, a Batman costume, and a massive fire. So, how do we do it? We could film in a parking lot and cut some corners. This Batmobile could be a model, the fire filmed separately, and the rain... The rain! How would we get access to water in a parking lot? Or cover the whole parking lot? At that point, it may be easier to just use CGI. Wait, I don't know how to do CGI. So I guess that leaves me with just one option. A miniature. But where do we start? Well, first, we'll want to rotate this shot right side up since that's how we're- Okay, before we get into this, I'm seeing a lot of contrasting emotions here. For instance, like the different parts where it'll be intense, and then it'll pause for a second. Like it'll be slower music and then it'll cut to a fast clip and it'll just really give you that punch and punch you whenever you're watching it, which is very contrasting to each other. And also another thing is the color grade. He purposely color graded it to where it will suit the style of the Batman movie that he's trying to recreate. And he's matched it fairly well as far as I can see. And I'm going to assume that it's going to be like that. Uh, well, it might just be for the intro, but he may do it more throughout the video as well. Yeah, I mean, the music selection and the overall cinema of it is definitely pretty spot on. Let's break it down into parts. Okay, yeah. So, it was just for the intro or the cold open, as you would call it. Which makes sense because I'm going to assume that he's splitting this up into different chapters and sometimes you want to change the color grade depending on the mood and chapter of the video that you're in. This can just easily be a model or kid's toy. The bigger, the better. And this will give us a starting place for the scale of everything else. It may seem easiest to just shoot on real asphalt, but with a miniature car, the texture is too big. So we need miniature asphalt. And we thought black sandpaper would be perfect since we can test different grit sizes to get the perfect texture. We'll just need to come back on a different day to cover the whole surface. The window is easy. I like how he has, so he's got this backdrop over the whole thing where it's like this grid and obviously, you know, he's building out what he has to make. And so it makes sense that he would put that there and it fits for the overall style that he's going at here. And I also see, don't think I didn't see it, but he's also got some black bars on this to definitely give it that more film-ish feel because that's what he's trying to recreate. It's a silhouette, so we can just make it out of cardboard and stick it in front of the camera. But this reveals a big issue with filming miniatures. Compared to the original, our window is way more out of focus. The closer the camera is to what you're shooting, the more shallow the depth of field. Fortunately, we can get a deep depth of field by closing the aperture. But unfortunately, that darkens the shot. So we'll need more light. Just like the asphalt, the rain falling from the sky needs to be- Yeah, the music he's got going on here is really sick. I enjoy it a lot because it really brings up the curiosity of what he's trying to do here. And uh, here, actually, let me check this. The window. Yeah, each uh, chapter or title that he's popping up here has a sound effect that goes with the beat of the music, and he's done it pretty consistently. So, props for that. 
Just like the asphalt, the rain falling from the sky needs to be miniature. So we're using a handheld water sprayer to get smaller drops. But how the water looked when it landed... Uh-oh, water drops on the car. Water drops would never be this big on a full-sized car. And it was much worse on the sandpaper. Yeah, that's not working. Ew. I should have asked this question sooner. Is miniature rain even possible? From all my research on miniatures, I keep seeing and yeah, hearing. Yeah, that was pretty sick. He uh, started up the music at the same time the lightning hit or flashed outside. And that, that was definitely a pretty sick small detail that he did there. He's definitely uh, allowing the project to flow at a nice pace when it needs to. So, for instance, like he just added that fade right there. And I don't think he's faded before, but the music and everything behind it is starting to slow down. And it's slowed down a little bit here because it stayed on the shot. And so he's going with the flow of the project at the correct pacing that he needs to. Ring. Avoid water. Avoid fire. That just changed. It's not definitely slowed down, but he's contrasting here. He's contrasting. Our shot has both. But why should they be avoided? Essentially, they both look completely different on a small scale than they do on a large scale. For water, that's due to something called cohesion. In other words, water has a tendency to stick to itself. Perhaps you've seen this example. You add water drops to a penny to create a sort of bubble of water. It stays together due to cohesion. And it looks quite similar to what we saw in the car. No matter how small we make the water drops falling from the sky, they will combine on surfaces and create larger and larger drops of water, which are unrealistically large on this miniature scale. For fire, it's more just how fire is. If you light a candle, you get a small flame. If you light a small piece of paper, He's, you'll notice subtle in the background with the music. The keyframes on the music itself is going up and down between his speech. It'll kind of dim down a little bit lower when he starts to talk, and then after he's done, the music will go up again. And you got those keyframes throughout the music, which is a important piece and it's a detail that definitely helps and shows that you're paying attention project you're making we're on fire you get a few larger flames but a large fire is made up of many large flames creating a ton of detail you don't get with a smaller fire and since water and fire are quite wow. unique there really aren't any small scale substitutes so we kind of have to use them I am genuinely interested on how he's going to achieve this. And that's good. The way, uh, you know, he's kind of built it out and explained the different stuff makes you feel that way. That's a very good part as far as the production goes. At this point, you're probably wondering why I haven't even mentioned how we get Batman in the shot. Arguably the most important part of it. And, well, I've been keeping something from you. Something this shot wouldn't be possible without. See, I knew from the start that some of these things wouldn't work with just a miniature alone. So I had a plan all along. And I think it's finally time for me to tell you about compositing. Compositing is taking multiple different elements or shots and combining them to make... <laughs> Man, the music he's using here is working so well with one you know, what he's doing and how he's explaining it and just the style that he's gone for here works well with each other. You'll notice on the backdrop, he has a film grunge type of overlay and also, uh, you know, the Batman movie and all that kind of stuff. But with the music, he's got this guitar-ish type of soundtrack going with it which ties it all together very nicely. I'll say that much. 
one final image. Probably the most well-known example is using green screen to put yourself in a new location. Two separate shots, but one final image. For this shot, it'll be easiest to think of this in layers, starting with the miniature. Despite the issues with water, I actually think including rain in the miniature will work, with a few small changes, like using a mist, soaking the sandpaper, and filming it all in slow-mo. That alone won't fix everything though, but compositing will. We'll film separate takes when everything is dry, with rainfall- Yeah, he- Wait a minute. That's what's missing. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot. I forgot to turn on the light back here. I knew there was something off. Hold on. Much better. We'll film separate takes when everything is dry, with rain falling from the sky, and with water splashing on the ground. All combined to create one clean shot. All we have left is to build the miniature before sick. we have this part complete. The next layer is the fire. This one we'll film separately and then composite it into the miniature. But in order to composite it, we need to separate the fire from the rest of the shot. Since I like that. I like how... I like how he's showing, he scaled it back to show you what it would look like behind it, but you don't fully see the completed project or what it looks like, essentially. It just shows you a rough draft. And so whenever he scales back like that and fades it, it gives you the idea with the car there, but it doesn't show you and give away the overall reveal of it. It's pretty good. In order to composite it, we need to separate the fire from the rest of the shot. Since fire is light, adding a dark background will create that separation, which we can use in post to cut out the fire and add it to the miniature. But since yep. fire is light, we need to light the miniature like there's a fire there, then cover it up. Yeah. And of course, we'll need a much larger fire. Finally, the Batman, which will need to be a full-scale person. Like I said before, green screen is a common way to do exactly this. But my green screen isn't very large, and the Batman is walking. But it's just about separation. Opposite to the fire, the Batman is a dark silhouette. So a white background will give us the separation we need. We'll mask around the edges, color grade to match the scene, and this will work. I'll just need to start putting a costume together. But all this starts with nailing the miniature and I was struggling to match the lighting. At this point, I don't know what else to do, and we're out of time, so... We have to figure it out when we shoot it. Man. I did not wait until we shot it to figure it out. Let's try this again. I spent some time studying the original. Looking at the behind the scenes of the Batman told me very little, other than that the fire is the main light in the scene. So figuring out this lighting for the fire is the key. I turned my attention towards fake fires done in other movies, and realized that one Aperture MC wasn't enough. I needed to match the size of the fire and cast that light in all directions. And this time, I'd have to set it up all alone. Notice how he switched the music back to more of a consistent beat that kind of gives you intrigue and curiosity into what he's doing but it's not overtaking the what he's talking about this was a much better start next was some ambience from the street lights and a street light from above lighting the foreground area. There's a lot of atmosphere to this scene, so we'll haze up the whole room. But there's even more smoke just around the fire. I had this smoke genie sent out to me a while back, which will allow me to get a much more controlled smoke specifically near the fire. I also- The way he's portraying this is awesome. It's pretty sick. The way that uh, one, it's it's a very well shot project, 
And with something like this about a film or a movie, and he's taken this approach, and I haven't really seen much of his other projects, so I'm going to assume that he likes to do this film style of uh, video, YouTube videos. But the way he's putting this together and showing the different angles and showing stuff like that, it's pretty sick considering what he's trying to make and what it's about. Added a light behind the smoke to illuminate it better. The atmosphere is what really pulls the shot together. And adding in the fake rain confirms that this miniature is complete. I think we're finally ready to shoot. Three separate shoots. Striking. A miniature. That just got really intense, really fast. <laughs> that music really uh, kicked in there. He went silent for a second and then picked up, because he's about to film it, right? So he wants it to be intense and make sure he's getting what, what he's got to get. Overall, he has kept a pretty consistent style of music when it comes to they have that kind of guitar-ish type of sound to it, grungy, which, like I said earlier, fits the Batman and the way the movie was made. So you can definitely tell he paid attention to that detail specifically. Costume may not be perfect, but it'll work in silhouette. True. Let's spray more towards the front here. I wasn't leaving anything to chance. The miniature is most of the shot, so we did a test. I took that test and compared ours against the original. I don't know where he's getting this music from, but the soundtrack he's got going on here is really nice. Really enjoy it. That little the little noise right there that's going doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> don't judge all right but i really like that sound again and again there we go and again until we finally had our matching shot our first take of the fire was promptly snuffed out what makes this fire so hard is that we need it on a flat surface like in the original so we had to scale things up. This is very dangerous, and so we have water, and we have a fire extinguisher. We're not taking any chances. Getting a flapping cape is much harder than you would think. Gotta make sure you put that in for YouTube. You know, can't be getting kicked off. Think. It takes a lot of airflow to get this movement. We tried a shot from Dune earlier this year involving a cape, and it took a $500 fan rental and a lot of luck with the weather to make it work. No wind this time, no $500 fan. We had to somehow make this work with a small fan. There was water everywhere. I'm getting soaked. Our fire was catching. This is very tense. Let's see how all of this comes together and gets wrapped up in how he uh, displays or reveals the shot itself. I'm actually interested in seeing that because people can do that in a different way. And I want to see how well he shows the reveal of it and what route he takes. Let's find out. And it was getting big. Stay in frame. Come on. I couldn't be any help while in the costume. I had to rely on my team to pull this off. And with every take, we got closer. Whoa. That looks so cool. I gotta move quick. 
yeah. have to keep drying the set off every take. I need a different lens. This is kind of our last little push here. Let's do one more. It took a lot of time. There. That looks like the original. Oh my goodness. But we finally got the shot. That's the shot. That's it right there. All that's left is to put it all together. Yep. That's pretty sick. He's back to how it started from the beginning. And, and so he's wrapped it up all like that. I mean, we got 30 seconds left, so I'm going to assume that's how he's going to show the shot. That is a very, very good way to kind of loop it around to, to back to where we started. I definitely enjoy that approach that he's taken here. And of course, we can't forget the final step. Yep. I'm really wow. proud of this one. Subscribe for more videos like this. Thumbs up. Get a thumbs up with that. That was the way I really enjoyed the way that was structured. I haven't really seen a project out of the reactions I've done in a little bit now that kind of wrapped up in the same way it started like that just did with the structure and the shots and the music and stuff like that. And I really enjoyed the way he put that together and the way it was all you know designed and also the project itself like what he's working on inside of it the comparisons that was a really good job that was very close to the different shots and the angles what he recreated but again the editing in this was definitely movie quality like what he was uh creating or recreating for so William H. Baker. Excellent job on the editing, and I really enjoyed this project. All right, that's enough of me talking. If you want to watch another reaction, you can click over here and check that out. And with that being said, I will see you at the next edit.